I was nine, my father taught me how to play guitar. He had been in a band in the 60s, and back then he was renting out our basement as a music studio. So bands would record songs and they would jam down there. Now, to me, this was a magical place. This was a place that I loved to hang out in. And I can still remember it now. It had shaggy rugs, not unlike this dot. It had wood paneling. It had sheet music and slots on the walls. And it was soundproofed. And I remember the smell of ozone as I plugged into my dad's amp and how it towered over me. So what my father had created was a musical sandbox, a place where musicians could fail fast in a trusted environment, and they could create lots of songs. Now, in my teen years, I gave up on guitar, and I focused on computers and technology for a while. And it wasn't until 10 years later that my brother moved up, from, up to Boston, and he and I started a band together. And it's some of the best times of my life. And so, but as I look back, I, I, I can say now that we weren't very good at first, right? We didn't have the right skills, we didn't have the right gear, and we didn't know how to get our songs on the radio yet. So in the years since then, as a musician and a technologist, I've realized that data is like music, and music is like data. And you have to harness it and transform it to make it into something valuable. So for example, a musical note is like a data point. Now if I take a set of data points and I put them together, that's called a data set. In the world of music, we call that a chord. take a set of chords together, we call that a chord progression or a riff. So here's an example of a riff. And now here's a riff with a little heat on it. So you get the idea, right? We put all those pieces together, we add some bass, we add some drums, we add some vocals to that, and we call that a song. Now songs are like insights. The same way that a great song can propel a band into stardom, a great insight can propel an organization into success or profitability. So what if we could apply these lessons from the world of music to the world of data? Because organizations need all the help that they can get. So how many folks out there have heard of the term big data? Anyone? A few people. So organizations are drowning in this, this huge volumes of data streaming in from all these sources. There'll be 50 billion connected devices by 2020 in what's called the Internet of Things. So think of your, your Fitbit, your Nest thermostat, your security system. We'll have smart cars, smart cities, smart meters, and they'll all be generating data. So the challenges for organizations are that there's, there's a gap in the skills needed to manage in these big data technologies and there's a lack of alignment between business and IT, and then we're spending more time preparing data instead of generating insights from that data. There has to be a better way. So data professionals are those people that use data to make decisions. And everyone in here, to some degree, is a data professional, right? How many people use uh, Google Maps or a weather app or email today and use that data to make a decision about your life? I believe that we can transform these data professionals into data rock stars, right? We can improve their productivity, we can improve their ability to make decisions. And I believe we can do that by helping them to create great songs, to sing great songs, and to get those songs on the radio. So let's talk about that first one, creating great songs. So I believe that we're here for a reason, and that reason is to create, whether it's a song, a child, a book, or a perfect line of code. Uh, when my brother and I first started our band, we moved into a house called the House of Beverage, five guys. There was the, the sole purpose, well, the two, the two purposes were have parties, and then the second one was to create music, and that was, the sole, that was the sole reason there. And Bob, if you're out there, we apologize, because Bob was the only member of the house that wasn't in the band. He had a real job. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so back then... We, we would jam at all hours of the day and night, and we had just a fantastic time. Now, in the world of data, we call that trusted space an analytical center of excellence or an innovation lab. And just like bands, they have different members, right? So we have analytics uh, people with skill sets around statistics. 
um, data management, IT experts, business domain experts. And this is important because organizations that use analytics to make decisions are 6% more profitable. So what about your organizations? Are your organizations creating intentional insights? Have you created a space of trust where your people can kind of fail fast? And if you're a startup, your entire organization is probably already functioning as a sandbox. Um, but as organizations grow, we breed silos, and it's really difficult to, to make that happen. Um, so that second one, how do we sing great songs? Right, so when we first started out, we had, like I talked about, we didn't sound very good. We didn't have the right gear. We had bad guitars, bad speakers, bad microphones. I wish I had this microphone back then. Uh, but we were able to, it wasn't until about two years later that we were able to kind of invest in the right, in the right gear. And this guitar is an example of some of that, um, this amp. And the Mackie 808S was kind of our savior at that time. It was a power mixer you could plug in, and it had great effects for your vocals. So we were actually starting to sound good. And it reduced the threshold of skill needed <laughs> to sound good. <laughs> Think of auto-tuner. Uh, so we were able to take, to take those and to take the band at new heights, right? We were actually, fans actually started coming to gigs. So in the world of, in the world of data, Here's an example, or I should say, before we go into the world of data, I want to show you an example of a, of a tool here that will automate a manual task. So it's called a looper. So what I've done, if you can hear that, can you hear that? Yeah. So I've taken this manual task and I've automated it. Now I can deploy this into different songs. I can improve my productivity as a musician. It doesn't replace another musician, but it helps augment my ability to play music. And I can do something like put a little lead over it. So you get the idea again there. Um, but the, the, you know, when, we, when we work with data in organizations, the same principle applies, right? How many of you use uh, spreadsheets to manage data? Right? Most, most folks in business settings will use, will use spreadsheets. So imagine if you were able to actually automate that, that monthly fire drill that you went through of report to create, the report that you're going to create, and you were able to actually augment that with additional layers of value to it. So if you could add, for example, geolocation data or sentiment analysis data from Twitter, um, or, or web activity from your customers on your website. So what would that do for your productivity or your ability to make better decisions? All right, and number, number three there is how do we get these songs on the radio? So writing and singing great songs is just half the battle. Eventually, every band wants to take that song and get it into the studio so they can get it on the radio and they can get some airplay. And this was all we thought about for a few years. Um, but it takes a whole different set of skills to do this, right? You've got the discovery set of skills, of writing songs, the performance skills, but then you need an engineer to record it in painstaking detail every aspect of the song. And then you need marketing to deploy that song out into the, to, to get that airplay that you need. So the same, same challenge happens with organizations, right? They have what's called, I mean, we call this operationalizing analytics, right? And the gap between Getting the data or obtaining the insight and then deploying it into your business is called the data to decision life cycle. When you're thinking about what to do with, uh, with your organization, this is a big problem because some organizations take six months and a million dollars and ten people to just deploy a new analytical model into their, into their system. So think of Pandora um, deploying a better recommendation engine for new songs on their app. Or Airbnb is a great example of this where the data scientist there was able to take insights from a friend and then improve match rates between hosts and guests by 4% through a machine learning model. So it's just an example of taking an insight but deploying it into your business. And the, the takeaway there is that if you don't deploy it into your business, the insight is worthless. So four years after we started, my band was able to sing songs, create songs, and get them on the radio. And we had a CD release party with 600 people at the Middle East, the prominent uh, Boston rock club. We had heavy rotation on college radio. And we had a song as part of the soundtrack of MTV Road Rules. So we had succeeded beyond my wildest imagination when I first, first got into the, the band business. 
Um, but how do we take, how do we create waves that disrupt the current status quo of our organizations and affect change? How do we transform the data professionals in our community into data rock stars? So I'll leave you with three things. So number one is treating data as a strategic asset. This could be just like any other asset in your organization. Govern it, ascertain its value and, and its level of health. Number two, find your sandbox. It might be an idea room at, you know, with bean bags that you see behind me at Tech Mountain. It could be an advanced team of analytical experts, right? But find that sandbox and deploy it into your business. And then number three, empower non-technical data professionals. This is probably the one with the most leverage, right? Democratizing access to data uh, is key to scaling the use of data and making data-driven decisions in your organization. All right, so it's been a long time since MTV. <laughs> so I'd like to leave you with a song. Data is like music. Streams in all around us. Can we sing the right song? To transform what's inside us. Are you ready to transform data professionals into data rock stars? Thank you. <laughs>